Hi Arnie, could you tell us a little bit about uh, the game Last of Us? Sure, The Last of Us is a story of Joel and Ellie, uh, who are sort of two strangers thrust together uh, as Joel um, is trying to smuggle Ellie out of a military quarantine city and the job goes bad. Uh, so they're kind of stuck together now uh, and they're traversing across the United States, which has been uh, ravaged by fungal infection. So it takes 20 years after uh, this pandemic has basically decimated uh, civilization and government as we know it. Uh, and they're faced uh, against surviving against other infected humans and then the other survivors who may be uh, brutal uh, or they could also be looking to sort of cooperate and be helpful. Could you tell a little bit about how this game has pushed this genre forward? Sure, I, I mean, in, inside the studio, I think, uh, you know, we feel like we've actually uh, created our own little subgenre uh, that we're calling uh, survival action. Because for us, it's really about, uh, you know, we, we really wanted to create an action game that's uh, very tense. It's all about, uh, you know, what would it take to survive in this post-pandemic world. Um, and really, it's not about necessarily fighting against the infected. Uh, There's sort of like the, the overarching stress, the overarching enemy that everyone has to face. But it's really about, you know, what, what are humans like when they're pushed to the limit, when there's nothing left to lose, um, and, you know, the resources are scarce, and people are willing to do anything they can to survive. And really, you know, that, that's what sort of sets the, the backdrop to, to the game. And the sort of, we're trying to create this more mature, you know, sort of narrative within that. Can you talk about how deep the gameplay experience is? Uh, sure. I, I mean, I think there's a lot of uh, things that we're trying to do that are interesting with the gameplay for The Last of Us that um, you know are pretty unique and uh, to to what we're trying to do and sort of really fit within the game world that we have. Uh, the the biggest one uh, thus far has been uh, this concept of balance of power. Uh, we've put a lot of work into our uh, AI, especially for the enemies, and uh, how they react to you as a threat. Um, and so, what we wanted to do, make sure that they reacted towards you realistically, is that. Um, they're going to look at you and depending on how much they perceive you as a threat, they're going to react to you that way as well. So if you have a gun and they don't have a gun, uh, they're going to try to hide behind cover. They're going to try to flank you. Uh, they might run away and sort of try to regroup. Um, but if they know that they've got numbers on you or that you're out of ammo or they have weapons and you don't, uh, they're going to be much more aggressive. They're going to try to flush you out. You know, they're really going to try to take the fight to you. Um, so I think that's one of the big things about uh, that we're trying to do for gameplay. There's a lot of little other things that you know that you can see in the demos that we've seen so far. Uh, being able to scavenge around the environment, pick up items that you can craft into new items like a Molotov cocktail, which we've shown, or uh, with a bandage you can also heal yourself with it as well. So we're sort of introducing player choice in the gameplay uh, as well. So with the balance of power, like example, uh, say if I approach someone unarmed, you know, without any weapons, would they automatically attack me on the spot? Well, it depends on the the, the character that you're trying to run into. Uh, really, we're trying to explore what this world is like when there's no resources, when humans have been pushed to the brink to survive. So in this case, um, you know what you're trying to say is the people that you run into, they might already be hostile towards you. Um, so that's that's the case. Or they may try to ambush you. There's a cutscene we've shown where they ran into an ambush. So there might be people where they're trying to play a bluff so that way um, you know, they can take the upper hand on you. But you'll also run into people who might be friendly. So they're going to appear friendly. You know, they won't feel like they're going to be armed but um, you know, they'll end up being friendly. But the whole point is it's like, if people, if they're out to get you, they're, they're gonna make themselves known that way all the time. They're not gonna sort of like, take you for granted.